Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be going over my top 10 websites that I use for astronomy, visual, imaging, and public facing events. Some of these you'll know, but I'll bet there's going to be a nugget or two you haven't seen before you'll find really interesting. I'm going to provide a link to all these sites in the notes at the end of the video. These are sites that I visit very frequently. Let's dive in. Ever wonder what bright satellites might be passing overhead tonight? Wonder no more. Heavensabove.com has everything you need. Simply enter your location and see which satellites we're passing overhead for the next week or two. You can sort by brightness or focus on special ones like the ISS, Hubble, Tiangong, or Starlink. Whenever I do a public event, I check this so I can predict, identify, and then point out a satellite. Never fails to impress. The International Space Station is the only satellite large enough to show detail in a small telescope. You can use heavens above to find out when it's coming overhead, but what about those moments when it actually crosses the face of the sun or the moon? These are amazing photography opportunities. There are some tricks involved to capture it correctly and ensure you get good results, which I won't go into here, but they're covered in another video on this channel. Check out this site so you know when the ISS is going to cross the face of the sun or the moon near where you live. This site is essential in planning an observing night under the stars. It allows you to optimize which telescope, camera, focal reducer, and targets in the sky work best together. Is the Andromeda galaxy going to be too big? Is the Ring Nebula going to be too small? Enter your data in this website and find out. Plus, you can compare different combinations at the same time on the same target. This site goes hand in hand with astronomy tools. It allows you to figure out when your targets rise and set based on your location, the date, and the target. Want to image something all night? Then it's good to know it will drop to 20 degrees above the horizon at 3 a.m. Telescopius is a great planning tool for observing and imaging. Astrospheric is my go-to app for weather forecasting. I use the Pro model, which includes four different weather forecasts for clouds. It actually does a lot, but I like having the seven different astronomy observing sites saved so I can quickly see how the weather will be different in each. I can see cloud coverage, transparency, smoke, and seeing hour by hour for several days out. I don't use this site often, but when I do, I really need it and I'm thankful that it's there. Astrometry looks at your image and tells you where it is and what it is. Sadly, most of us live where the Milky Way is not visible at night. To see it and other faint stars, you may need to travel to a dark site. But where? This site can help. Light pollution is clearly shown by color. Just look at where the sky is darkest and plan to head there. One more tip. Don't forget to plan to go when the moon is out of the sky if you want to see faint objects. Cloudy night? No problem. Check out cloudynights.com. This site has a lot, but I usually use it for one of two things, the forums and the classifieds. The forums are a great place to get your technical questions answered, 
while the classifieds are the best place to buy and sell astronomy gear. I bought and sold thousands of dollars worth of gear here and made some great friends in the forums and been able to reach top experts who freely gave me their time and answered my questions. Definitely worth bookmarking this site. Jupiter is by far the biggest planet to observe in a telescope, and arguably the most interesting, with belts, zones, the great red spot, and the dance of the Galilean moons. This site lets you find out when the great red spot is visible to you, and when a Galilean moon will transit in front of the planet, creating a small black dot you can see in a telescope. Very handy when planning an observing or imaging session, especially as Jupiter approaches opposition in this December. NASA put together this site and it's a great educational resource. You can see in three dimensions where all the planets and spacecraft are in our solar system and animate it to see how things look both in the future and the past. I said 10 sites, but here's a bonus one for solar observers. The Solar Dynamic Observatory takes photos of the sun in multiple wavelengths every 10 minutes, 24 hours a day. Then the images are posted on this website. Before you set up your solar gear, check out the site to see if there are any interesting sunspot groups or solar prominences. So those are my top 10. Which was your favorite? Are there any that I missed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me with the algorithm. Thanks for watching.